Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another YouTube video. In this video today, I'm gonna walk you guys through uh, my complete setup that I'm going to use for this year's race season. I'm gonna break down wheels, trucks, the board, bushing setup, and any extra wheels that I'm going to use, any extra trucks. And I'm gonna share it all in this video with you guys. So, hope you guys enjoy and let's get into it. So, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this setup numerous times on my channel, but I'll just briefly again explain uh, exactly what my setup is. So, starting with the board, it is my signature uh, Wild Monkey Racing uh, deck, and it's 38, 38 inches and it's 10, uh, 10 inches wide. So, I got this board about two years ago when I first got sponsored by Wild Monkey Racing and it's held up so nicely that I haven't needed to switch boards or anything. The, the tech for distance skateboarding, it has changed a little bit. 38 inches is really a, a, a sweet spot size for me. So I've stuck with this board for the past two years and I'm gonna stick with it again for this race season as well. The trucks are Gold Wing Sidewinders. And I brought these trucks when I first, first started longboarding. Now, they should have been changed out a while ago, but what I did with the trucks, I put in some bushings that have just changed the way that I, I ride completely. Uh, for these trucks, when I brought them stock, they came with uh, barrel barrel bushings. So they, these are typic, these trucks are really for like downhill. Um, and you can flip the hanger so it'll go from a 50 degree base, uh, 50 degree base plate to 47 but I have it right now at, at 50 and I haven't needed to change it anymore because if I if I flip it then my 107 setup will probably will bite so anytime that I usually flip it it'll be when I put on my 90s but I'll talk about that later on in this video. But talking about the trucks, the the trucks are 10 inches wide, and again, it's on a 50 degree base plate setup. And the bushings inside here, these are Paris bushings. I had these from a from a pair of trucks I had a while back. They were weed trucks. They were weed themed Paris trucks, and I took the stock bushings from those. And I put them in my going uh, reverse trucks. So I should have took the trucks off, but I could not find my T-tool. So they're on the board. And plus I was skating a little bit earlier, so I didn't want to uh, take them off and mess up the, the setup that I fine tuned. So I have here a barrel and a cone. And I'll, I'll probably do a close up of this later later on but it's a barrel and a cone inside so what that allows me to do is turn how I want to turn which is I want fast twitch like quick agile turns but also to be stable when I'm going let's say down a hill or a high speed so when I switch into my switch kick the back is a little bit tighter than the front that allows me to to go into my switch kick and have a stable footing because the back truck is a little bit tighter than the front truck uh, and I'm curious to know uh, down in the comments below if you guys can tell me do you guys also have a truck that's a little bit tighter or looser than the other truck or is it the same exact tightness on both sides I'll be curious to know but my back truck is tighter than my front truck just by a little bit just because when I switch kick so with my truck set up I took the bushings off of my stock Paris trucks and they were stock with 90A cone and the barrel, I'm not too sure. So I switched out the barrel and I had a, just a regular barrel in the house. I put that on uh, board side and then I have the cone row side. And the cone, I'm not sure about the duro and I'm not sure about the duro on the barrel as well. I think it might be 86, um, but don't quote me on that. And the same thing with my front truck the same exact barrel and cone setup but again this one's a little bit looser and this one's a little bit tighter 
Uh, and next we have the wheels. So for this race season, I'm I'm pretty certain that I'm going to be riding my 107s. Uh, I just like how they feel. They feel so good, and I'm used to the speed. I'm used to how it feels going at high speeds. So because I'm more familiar with it, I'm going to just go with these wheels. I don't want to keep switching up setups, trying to figure out what's good, what's not good every race season, because it'll it'll cause me to to mess up, not have as much confidence um, in the switch kick as I'm pushing. I'll be like, oh, my setup hold up. I don't want that feeling. So I'm gonna go with something that I'm comfortable with and that's gonna be the 107s. Uh, the, the bearings, I'm not gonna share the bearings on this video because I need it to have a little edge. Uh, so I'm not gonna share the bearings. But the the extra wheels that I have are the Cloud Ride wheels. Now, Cloud Ride wheels, these are underrated wheels. A lot of people don't use these, but I love them. So, I need to do a review on these wheels, and I will actually do that in a, in a separate video. But anytime that I'm not going to use the 107s, I'll be using these Cloud Rides. So, these are 90 millimeters and 78A. Anytime that I use these wheels, it'll be for races that I find myself having to stop and start, stop and start fairly quickly. So that'll be for, let's say, Broad Street Bomb or Broadway Bomb. Those races where I find myself stopping at lights sometimes. Um, you're gonna need good acceleration. So of course, because these wheels are smaller than my 107s, they're gonna accelerate faster because they're just lighter, they're smaller, all that plays a part, right? So I'll be using those for races like that and any other race in a park or in a closed environment, a closed setting like uh, Central Park Race, uh, Prospect Park, I'll be using my 107s. So I'm going to keep this one short, simple. This, this is just going to be my 2023 race season complete setup. And if that changes up, I'll let you guys know if I get any new trucks, um, I'll also share that because these are traditional, you know, longboard trucks. There are a lot of trucks out now that are traditional kingpin people use to pump. There are zero degree trucks. There's a lot out there. So I'm able to pump really, really well on the bushings, on the bushing setup that I have on these trucks. So I'm going to explain that in a separate video, how I'm able to get my trucks to pump so well, because bushing setups are very important and to get maximum performance out of trucks you want good bushings uh, how important that is and explain that with my setup here that'll be it for this video i want to thank you guys for watching this video to the end and if you guys have any questions comments put it in the comment section down below i'll answer it if you guys found this video informative in any way make sure you guys subscribe because i'll have more informative videos coming your way and i'll see you guys in the next video Take care.